Hello friends, today we are discussing this question from lead code problem number 10292 city schedule. So in this question you are given that two and people are applying for a company and they have to go for an interview and the company are paying for the cost of money and the ith person will fly to the A city it cost the company cost I0 and if it's cost for flying it to the city B is cost I1. So you have to return the minimum cost of flying every person to the city such that exactly n people arrive at each city. So let's assume there are two cities and uh, there are two n people. We have to send n people at city 1 and n people at city 2 such that we are given the, the cost of flying the people from uh, like respective places to city 1 and city 2. So you have to return the minimum cost you have to anchor. Okay, so in this input array, as you can see, for the person first to fly to city 1 A or 1 is 10 and flying to city 2 is 20. For person 2, for flying to city 1 is 30 and flying to city 2 is 200. So and so on. So what is the minimum cost? Okay. So let's see with this example. These are the same values. Uh, for or like for the four people, these are the amount which it will require for the company to pay to make the people person fly to city and city B. So what we can do is we can readily sort the array, but on what condition we have to sort the array? We have to first see that. Okay. If we subtract the first this value, second value from the first value, what we can get is we can get 20 minus 10 is 10. Okay, then for this it's 180, 170 sorry, then for this is 50, minus 50, because we are subtracting this from this and 20 minus 30 is minus 10. So what does this value actually depicts? It depicts that in comparison to flying it to city B, it is costing 10 rupees more if the person is flying to city B instead of city A. It means if you are flying the person to city B, the company will cost 170 rupees more if it's flying to city A. But in this case, if it's flying to city B, it will be better because the company is saving 350 rupees instead of flying to city A. So if it's sorted according to this number, and uh, let's say the first number will be 170, if we like sort it in descending order, 170, 10, minus 10, and minus 50. So it means it's better to fly this person to city A, this person to city A, this person to city B, and this person to city B. Fair enough? As you can see, if this person flies to city A, then it just costs 30 rupees, not 200. So it's better. And the more, the bigger value, it's better to fly it to city A. Okay, so that's it. That's the main, uh, like, uh, the uh, the main observation we have to see in this question. So let's do the code for this. Uh, we will first store the number of cities, the number of people, and it's n. It's actually two n because there are two n people, but we will show it as n. Okay. Now we have to first sort this array. So in this, while, while sorting this array, we can use another function also, but I'll have, like, let me show you how the lambda function works. Cost dot end. Uh, lambda function is, like, we can write the, the comparison function in this sort function only. So we have to first make the hard brackets, and then we have to just write the function as it is. Because it's a vector, and uh, well, let me put that 
after I rest. Okay, so now what's in the vector? So we have to return, we have to see if if actually uh, we have to find a difference. So if the difference of a because these are the vectors, we are subtracting the the big the, the second one because the index of this is one and this is zero. So the index of one minus index of zero. So if it's greater, so if it means if it's greater than zero, we have to bring it forward. Return to because you have to bring, bring it forward. The the first value should be greater. We are sorting it in this order because the first value should be greater and then it's decreasing. Yeah. So then it sort. Uh, then you have to find a total function to store the total cost of fine. And for the first n people from zero to n by two. We have to add total plus equal to cost of i of zero because for the first n people we have to store for a and then for the last n people we have to store for b and for the last n people we yeah, will. Add the value for one, and that's it. Your total mass. Our code is running perfectly fine. Let's run it. As you can see. Running perfectly fine and it's giving me easy. If you have any doubts, still you can mention down in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video. If it's, if it's useful for you, please hit the like button and subscribe button. And I'll see you next time.